Hello, War Fighters. War is hell. Welcome to another episode of Arma 3 Recon, where I take a random mission out of the Arma 3 Steam Workshop. I rate it and play it for you. Uh, I'm going to be making a pretty quick change here to Arma 3 Recon based off of some of the feedback that I've gotten from some mission authors who I've done reviews of. And I love being able to get their feedback. Uh, that is great to get in contact with these guys because the type of work that they do is phenomenal. There's a lot of work that goes into it. And for the most part, they seem pretty happy with the ratings uh, that I give. Sometimes I feel like I'm pretty harsh, but feedback is important. And I think that uh, that's something that's valued. And I haven't heard anybody really say that I'm too harsh. The one bit of feedback that I've gotten uh, to kind of improve it is since I only play through these missions once, I don't think I'm nearly as knowledgeable. And I, I know I'm not nearly as knowledgeable with these authors as far as how things are created. So there are some instances where I've been wrong saying that this doesn't seem uh, like there's much replayability in it because it's not going to be different when there are some things that are actually randomized. But because, again, I play through it once, I don't see the stuff that's necessarily random. So I think one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to change that replayability factor uh, to just fun factor. So that way, uh, I, it's not so focused on, will you play this more than once? But, you know, you still kind of get that a little bit because if it's fun, you're going to replay it more than once. So I may tweak some things a little bit here. We'll kind of see at the end what I do. And then, of course, your guys' feedback is important on that too. Uh, so real quick, this is called Operation Aura. What the summary of this mission is, is there's a forward operating base that's been located just south of uh, your starting location. This forward operating base is where I'm at right now. So the first part of this mission is to go ahead and take out the forward operating base, uh, destroy a generator inside of it, and then you may be tasked with a new mission. So that being said, we've gotten eyes on it here for a while, kind of gotten the patterns figured out as far as the patrols. Uh, but we're going to move up here and try to see if we can go ahead and take it. The thing is, we've only been able to see the patrols that are on the outside uh, of this little compound here. There could be some more guys on the inside. It's just difficult for us to be able to see from where we're at right now. We're not too far away from the enemy. You can see the AI just called in 200 meters. So I'm going to get everybody in a firing line right here. And then we'll probably try and open up. The thing is, is... You can see off to my right, there's some trees, some rocks. I should probably take a look over there too to see exactly what we've got. But let's open up here and we'll, uh, we'll actually go take a look at it here in a second. You know what? I might actually head over there. Let's not open up yet. Okay. Four, you come with me. Because if I uh, come in contact, I don't want to be the only person here. And there's the advantage, of course, with AI being able to spot things a lot better than uh, a human can sometimes. Oh, there's somebody coming down this road here. He's going to get pretty close. I better open up on him before they open up on me. So I'm kind of set up right here. Four seems like he's in a good spot. I know two and three is two. So let's do it now. All right, one of the head with that guy. Taking out that guy who's on the ground. It looks like there's somebody behind the tree. I think uh, the team leader took him down. Which I'm surprised he's the team leader. I'm probably the team leader here. Seeing he's the one I'm leading everybody. All right. So they're going to hold their position right there. If they spot anybody, they'll open up. And then I'll be the one who kind of moves up since as a human I can obviously adapt a lot more than the AI can looks like we got somebody on the ground there come on he's gonna start firing at me here in a second oh that was a hit it's probably because I'm set for 300 meters it's probably a little lower than yeah there we go Okay, there's somebody else at the base of this. He's down too. Okay, now's where things get pretty scary here. Yep. Somebody could be around any corner, like I was going to say. Should be able to take this. Oh, yeah, he was reloading. Alright, so C and I had five rounds left. Time to reload. Is there anybody in here? Yes. Got him. 
Okay, I think this first floor is clear. Let's get up to the second floor. Oh, of course, some guy directly in front of me. Cool. Got him. I think we're good. One more room. Sweet. All right, so uh, if that sign wasn't there, I'd be able to get a good look into the compound. Try to see. Oh, got movement over here. Time to take these guys down. Now, I'm all alone up here, so it's me versus this fire team. I'm going to make sure I engage the guys who are finding themselves out in the open. Got to stabilize here. Oh, I think it's larger than a fire team, actually. That's, what, four? There may be five. So, a large fire team. Oh, that's six. Is there one more? Sounded like I was taking some fire, maybe off from the right. I don't know. Maybe not then. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, my team up here. So I'll put two here. I'll put three facing this direction. Um, four. Come on, i got to find a good spot for him. Putting him on the first floor, which is not where I want him to be, but fine. He can go there. I still got it. There we go. Heal myself. Okay, so with them up there, got a good look on the area around us. I don't have everybody looking in every direction, but that's fine. I should be all right. All right, time to move in here. Ooh, there's this guy, like, wounded, laying up against this pillar. This guy is dying. I should patch him up. As long as I don't get shot at. Okay. He's healed. Do I get anything from it? Like intel or anything? Doesn't seem like it. Oh my gosh. Where is this coming from? I think it might have been coming from inside that building. That guy's not facing my direction. Nobody in that main part either. Okay, this is what I have to blow up. Oh, I'll just take this. Cause I don't I don't think I have any demo charges or anything like that. Here's the generator. Let's destroy it. Not a problem. Cool. Power generator destroyed. Awaiting further orders. This is the part where we could be retasked. I can imagine with it being this short, we can. Roger that Badger 2 1 standing or uh, standby. Okay. Usually when we're told to stand by, it means we're going to be attacked. So let's actually find for a better position than that. Oh, thanks for the save. Rescue the hostage, optional. Get to the extraction point. Okay, so there's a little diversity here on uh, how you can complete this. I mean, if you go ahead and choose to do the optional one, which of course I will. Uh, Badger 2-1, this is Overwatch. We've got an uh, we've got an intel that there is a hostage being held near your location. Save him if you can. If it's not possible, get to the extraction point, and we'll save him tomorrow. If he's around tomorrow. Okay, anything else? Let's see if I can get just first aid kits or something like that before I head out. Plus, having this will be nice. Because I can imagine there may be some vehicles... All right, so we've got a couple ways we can, oh my gosh. That guy. Whew, I'm not gonna worry about him. He like, honestly did not see where he was. That's probably a bit of feedback right here. Like, you know, I, actually it's, it's one of the things I prefer, so. 
you know, take the feedback, I guess, how you would. But I don't like it in a lot of instances where you have the enemy just uh, not be locked as far as their posture. Because in a lot of cases, as soon as they take fire, they're going to go prone. And there's times where that makes sense. But if you're behind sandbags like that on a second floor and you just go prone, I mean, the guy's a coward, <laughs> you know, basically, because there's no way he's going to be fire, uh, be able to fire at you. At the same time, you're not going to be able to engage him or even know that he's there. Um, so I just prefer if you've got somebody on a second story sandbag like that, you at least put him kneeling uh, and lock them in that position. But that's just me. Anyway, so what we've done is we commandeered one of the vehicles that was back at the forward operating base, and we drove uh, to where the hostage location is, and it does look like it's heavily fortified. Uh, so I've got somebody, second floor sandbags again, who, oh, did they take him out? That was going to be pretty impressive, but once again, I think this guy has gone prone. Okay, so we're going to have to move up the 300... 20 meters or so to go ahead and get to this objective here. So we're going to go through these fields, which obviously will provide us some cover. And I'm already out of stamina. That's the one downside, of course, to taking this rocket with me is that's extra weight that I have to carry. I could probably just be walking, but even this like little jog with the low stamina that I have is a little bit of an improvement. And I do want to get there quick. Bolting across the street is going to be important because that is a lot of open ground. Once we get in uh, to the compound and can use some of the buildings for cover too, I feel like that's when I can move a lot slower and probably will move slower. So I'm not rushing into an, you know anything that I shouldn't. Same time too get a good idea of what I'm looking at. So now that we're there, I figured you guys didn't want to watch me walk all the way across there. Um, we're about ready to get into the compound. Now, if this is set up the way that I'm thinking, it might probably have somebody in here kind of flank you or hit you early on. So let me go ahead and clear this building. Yep. Nobody in here. All right. Um, maybe this yellow two-story house. You take a look at that. I might get a good look actually at the top of the compound a little bit farther down. Nothing here. Check the first floor. Nothing here either. Maybe this house is clear. That would be nice. No, nothing there. Can't see anything. From that position and this looks clear also nothing down there on the ground gosh okay I could probably hit him if he didn't lay down or maybe yeah okay well we're gonna have to get over here at some point so let's just push it now we got this small opening, which could end up being a fatal funnel if uh, there's plenty of guys that are back there. So I've got a little bit of nervousness here. No, I don't want to RPG the door. Point blank range. I want to make sure this is clear too. All right. Good. And we're good here too. Okay. So I know this side should be clear. Got to be careful when I go out that door, especially with all that area out there in the open. Uh, not seeing anybody. So I'm wondering if they're all inside of the house. That'd probably be the, Return to formation. the way that's kind of set up here just so you get some close quarters. And if you can see those windows, they're boarded up right now too. So yeah, this is definitely the compound where the hostage should be in. Uh, it's pretty smart to set up this way, too, to prevent somebody from just shooting in there. Yep. Here's a guy. Drop them. Don't know what good he's doing with a sniper when the windows are all boarded up. All right, my guys are engaging somebody. 
I think that's the guy up on the ceiling. Or on the uh, roof here. Alright, clear. Oh. Hostage? Hostage. Okay, he's with me. Time to open this door. Ah, thanks for the save. Except, nope. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna spoil it right here. There's a lot of times I died. Just like when I open the door, just get mowed down. So that was actually a bad time to save. And I got this guy right here too. I don't know how I missed them when I was walking past earlier. Okay. We're oh, am I not clear on the outside? Oh no, that's friendly. Okay, what are they engaging? Oh, I lost somebody. Guy right in front of me. My AR. Okay. See, I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I've got a grenade launcher. Let's use it. Guy out in the open. Guy down in the open. Anyone else? I think that might have been the only guy. Okay, hostage is wounded. I don't know if we've taken care of the guy who is up here. So let's just toss a grenade. Cool. He should be down. Was there someone else? I heard some gunfire. I'm not seeing anybody, though. Like, I'm scanning the whole area and no movement. Okay. Well, whatever it is, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. All right, so um, we've got a vehicle that's close by. So we're going to get everybody in here. We're going to use this to get to the extraction point. Uh, did we get that guy up on the roof? I'm guessing we did with the grenade, but obviously I can't see if he's dead or not, so this is kind of risky. Let's go with it. I just have a bad feeling right now. I think it was because of that door. And it's saving right there. And the guy that we saw earlier who was just laying down opened up on me. Is this something I can open? Oh, dang it. There was another guy over there. Come on. There we go. Oh, what are these guys doing out here on the road? Four guys, they look hostile. Um, since they're facing this direction, I don't think I can straight, like, run them over. You can guess how much anti-Stasi I've been playing. I see guys on the road, run them over. Uh, I can't do it this time. They'll open up on me pretty quickly. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to leave the hostage in the car. And then two and four are going to come with me. We're going to engage these four guys since this is the road that we need to go down in order to get to the extraction point. Uh, concern of mine, of course, is if I deviate off of this road, then maybe I come across an enemy patrol that I really don't want to come across. So if I know this path is clear, and I guess to be fair, there still could be an ambush set up on the road. So maybe this still is not the uh, best way to go. But I'll engage these guys because they're enemies. They're in my way. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I, what I want to do, since they're not going to be able to spot me, is I want to get within a uh, range here where I can use my grenade launcher here. So fortunately for me, kind of marking it on the map, I can see they're 299 meters away. That allows me to go ahead and set my grenade launcher for 300 meters. And if I just place this right in the middle of them, it should take them all down. And, yep, just in case I missed one though. We'll drop another one there. Okay, looks like they're good and down so I don't have to worry about these four guys. 
Cool. All right, time to head back the truck or to the truck and get to the extraction point. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem from here on out. Though again, as I mentioned earlier, could be an ambush setup or something like that. Um, I think I've cleared everybody out from here too. You know, we haven't heard any weapon. Uh, there I go talking. I'm taking some kind of weapons fire. It sounds like it's coming from this direction. I'm being an idiot standing out in the open. The more time that I waste here, the closer that they could get. So guys, get in that truck quickly. Let's move. Okay, I'm just going to try and plow through this too. I think uh, my guys are set up here too where they're going to protect the hostage. If they take any fire, or if we take any fire from the rear. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh wait, it's just one guy. Alright, crash through this. Let's get moving. We'll take some fire, but that's fine. We should be going fast enough that they're going to have a hard time hitting us. Yeah, there's somewhere over there. One click out from extraction. Yep, there's the four guys. Oh, they're doing something over there. Maybe a car crash? Not going to stop. 500 meters. Still no contact yet. The closer we get to, the more comfortable I feel because the extraction point should be secure. All right, here we are. Time to make the turn. Nice. All right, so that's the mission. Pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy right here. So let's go ahead and get to the ratings for this one. All right, so as I mentioned, just one change to the ratings here. We'll get to it in a little bit. Uh, mission difficulty, I'll give this one uh, three out of five stars. I didn't think it was too difficult at all. In fact, it probably, in my opinion, uh, borderlined a little bit on the easy side uh, of things, especially with the enemy that you could come across. Uh, I think things were pretty balanced, and that could be a good thing, uh, but it could also be a bad thing. Like, for example, there's probably a total of, uh, or it felt like there was about six guys uh, that I had to go up against with the hostage actually like in that compound uh, which you know compared to four guys that I would say that's pretty balanced for Arma uh, but I was able to go through those guys uh, relatively easy uh, and even in the first part the forward operating base same thing there wasn't a lot of guys probably the biggest surprise and the most difficult challenge I had was going up against uh, that large fire team I think it was of six uh, that was coming at me uh, from the direction away from the forward operating base. So luckily I spotted them. I was able to take them out But again, it wasn't too difficult um, Borderline more on easy. So that's why I'll go ahead and give it the rate it uh, give it the rating that I will uh, Scripting complexity. I'll give it another three out of five stars right here I didn't notice anything super out of the ordinary uh, Which can be a very good thing because sometimes scripts can complicate a mission a little bit more but also uh, and in most cases uh, scripts can enhance it uh, so this felt very vanilla nothing uh, that seemed custom in here but a great use of triggers i think especially with the utilization of the communications to kind of tell you what's going on uh, with the text in the bottom left just kind of help move the story along a little bit more uh, so decent use there nothing nothing out of the ordinary i would say uh, so fun factor in this one i'll give it three and a half out of five stars uh, i thought you know, starting off in uh, the cave was, was pretty cool. That was a little unique there. And then moving on to the forward operating base, you do get a great opportunity to kind of sneak up on the enemy. Uh, and you have a little defensive stuff in there too. So I thought it was a, a pretty good balance all around with what you kind of do in this. So, you know, this might be one um, I, I may play just one more time, but uh, I don't think it's a mission I'd necessarily be coming back to. Uh, presentation, we'll go another three out of five stars right here. Uh, it being in the middle of the day, uh, stuff like that. It, again, a pretty normal feel to what you get with uh, a basic ARMA mission. Uh, I do think though that one area that uh, this does get uh, some, some perks for is like what you saw with the compound where the hostage was. You had 
the boards up on the wall that was a pretty nice touch or uh, sorry the boards on the windows so that was a pretty nice touch to kind of indicate hey this is where it is but also not to give you uh, a pretty good advantage on some things the biggest place where i of course would dock uh presentation here is like what i was talking about earlier having the enemy in a non-static uh posture or uh, not limiting what they can do i think uh, prove to be more of a hindrance than a help when it comes to how this is presented because again like I was saying you got somebody on the second story in a fortified position with sandbags and he just goes prone that doesn't seem strategic that seems more like dudes being a coward and if you can't see him he can't see you uh, at the end of the day you know it is a game so that you want to take out everybody that you can so having this mission set up to where those guys can take you out or you can spot them I think makes it a little bit better so that'd be the only suggestion that i have is uh, static uh, postures or limit what they can do so they don't lay down um, but over other than that we'll go ahead and give it the overall rating which i'll give this one three out of five stars i mean this is a mission that i definitely think is uh, worth worth playing uh, just to give it a try and if you like uh, the single player scenarios like i do you know this is one you could go through once uh, as i mentioned i might not play it more than once but uh, still a, a decent mission to go ahead and get. So if you're interested in it, again, this is called Operation Aura, and it's available on the Steam Workshop. So uh, that'll be it here for this one, though. Like this video if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe for more random Arma 3 missions on the Steam Workshop, since this is something I do enjoy doing and giving reviews and getting to know some more people in the Arma community as well who are mission creators. Uh, and then also consider... Donating to the Patreon, it helps out this channel quite a bit. There's a lot of things that we're able to do uh, because of the support that we have, and even a dollar helps uh, with what we do here at War is Hell. And then also join our Discord where you'll meet other people who watch these videos, uh, talk about a number of different topics. We're a really cool community, so please join us on the Discord. Love to see you there. Uh, but again, thanks for watching. That is it. War is Hell. You don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six.